Let's explore what happens when we move out of this long run equilibrium. So let's say we start at point A. And for this example, let's say that there's a decrease in aggregate demand. So let's say aggregate demand falls. Perhaps the reason is because consumer confidence falls. Aggregate demand, remember, C, I, G, and N, X. So a decrease in aggregate demand could be caused by that decrease in consumer confidence or many other things. So let's show that leftward shift. So let's call this aggregate demand sub B because it's the second one. What we notice is we get to this short run equilibrium with a lower price level and a lower level of output. This aggregate demand shifting to the left is going to cause my price level to decline and also my GDP to decline. What happens going forward? The adjustment process is what we're interested in. Because without any government intervention, we're going to assume that the economy will adjust itself, assuming that prices and wages are flexible. How does this happen? We see that output is less than potential GDP. So we see that my current level of output is less than that potential GDP. That tells us that we are currently in a recessionary period. Because of this, we are in a recession. And if we're in a recession, that means that there is slack in the labor market. Remember, slack in the labor market means there are people who are unemployed that are willing to work at or below the current wage that's being offered. Because there's slack that's in the labor market, that's going to lead to downward pressure on wages. Wages are going to start to fall. This means for a few different reasons. The, the negotiating power is now with the firms. Workers may be willing to take a pay cut to keep their job during a recession. Uh, there might be people who are willing to work at a lower price, so you fire one of your workers and hire someone at a lower wage. Either way, there's downward pressure on wages. These downward pressure on, on wages will decrease the overall input costs. It'll also decrease the overall expected future price level because if wages are going down and uh, firms are going to have to start accepting lower uh, prices for their products, we're going to start to see that price level drop. This will then lead to that short run aggregate supply curve going to the right. Let's do that in a different color and label it as point C. So eventually this will show the short run aggregate supply curve moving to the right. Let's call this SRAS C associated with point C. We have price level C and we move back to potential GDP. Short run aggregate supply shifts back to the right. This results in the price level going down even further, but output goes back to my potential GDP. So my unemployment rates back to that natural rate of unemployment. So what happens going from A to B to C? The automatic adjustment process shows us that there's not a real change in the economy. Sure, people's wages are lower, but the price level has adjusted, right? We see a further decrease in the price level. This is what we mean by in the long run, prices will adjust and so there's no real change, there's no real impact on output in the long run. So this example was if we started out with aggregate demand declining, putting us into a recession.